How can one chest store millions of items? To answer that, we need to go back to when I just got home from my 30 million block journey last episode. I got back and I didn't have anywhere to put my leftover supplies. In fact, my current storage system is very, 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 very unorganized. So let's fix that. My plan is to build a huge automatic storage system and then encase it in a large double chest. But there's a problem with that. This storage system is gonna need a lot of hoppers. Um, and we have three. So to fix this, we're going to build a really OP iron farm. And we're going to build this in the spawn so these guys are constantly dying. <laughs> Anyways, we somehow need to get these guys to spawn, which is 4,000 blocks that way. Hmm. Wait a second. Are there any villagers close to spawn? Oh, yes, there it is. I'm pretty sure this is the first place I slept in my hardcore world. All right, we don't want these guys escaping, so let's dig a big hole and get trapped in them. All right, excuse me, sir. Would you like to get in this hole? This way. Yes. Villager number two. Yeah, let's get a boat. Right, I think that should do for now. We should probably give them some protection from the zombies because it's about to go night. That's a bit better. All right, so we're going to need a lot more villagers for the iron farm. And there's definitely not enough in this entire village. So we're going to have to breed these guys up. Meaning we need two things. A lot of carrots and a lot of beds. So... But, but first, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is an awesome open world action RPG game. Available on PC, Android, iOS and PlayStation 4 and 5. Start your adventure on the continent of Tevat, where seven kinds of elemental powers surge. You can climb, swim, and glide your way across the beautiful world, with jaw-dropping landscapes, intriguing challenges, and diverse cultures. And if you get tired of exploring, there are immersive activities like fishing to enjoy. The new version 2.7 is out now, and there are awesome new characters now available, such as Yelan, a mysterious character, and Kuki Shinobu, the cape deputy of the Arataki gang, along with returning characters like Shao and Arataki. Genshin Impact are also hosting cool events like the All Might Arataki Great and the Glorious Drum Along Festival, in which they'll be hosting a contest where players can make their own music. Join the journey now in the land of Teva by clicking the link in the description down below right now. Anyways, a big thanks to Genshin Impact and on with the video. And now we need the beds. We could just share all these sheep, but where's the fun in that? All right, yeah, we still need loads more. So, all right, and we'll just kill a few more. One, two, three, four. All right, let's let these guys sleep. All right, I think we may have lost a few, but if we chuck these guys some carrots, and now it's time for these guys to, well, you know. Okay, whilst they do that, we actually need to get building this farm. And for it, we're gonna need to collect a bunch of items. The first of which is gonna be some stone slabs. Yeah, we should probably get our beacon, actually. Yoink, haste one should help a little bit, I guess. All right, that should do. And ironically, to build this iron farm, we're actually going to need hoppers, which requires iron. So let's hope this is enough. Ah, uh, we we have silk touch. Let's try this again. Um, I don't have arrows. Nope. Yeah, this is still not going to be enough iron. Okay, so we've managed to scrape enough iron together to get about 20 hoppers, which should be enough. Now we need glass. So... And if we head down here. Oh, what? Oh, my. What the? Anyways, we can come down here and we should have, yes, a decent amount of glass. Ooh, there's actually some spare hoppers in here. And then finally, one of the most important parts is we're going to need a bunch of obsidian for nether portals. Yeah, we should have brought a beacon. Okay, let's build this thing. And we've run out of full blocks of stone. Maybe we can salvage some from here. Is this going to be enough? 
Yes, it is. We definitely should have got scaffolding because we need to place a block under all of these corners. So... There's one, two, three, and four. All right, now these parts are going to be the villager pods where the villagers will live. All right, now we need to place three beds on each of these glass layers. Right, now we can do this and this to every single one. And now it's actually time to get the villagers over here. I think it's about 300 blocks, so we should have enough rails with us. Wait, there's not even enough of these guys yet. We need to feed them more carrots. Come and get your carrots. All right, let's build the track here. Just block it up for now. We need to make sure we've got enough powered rails. Why are you dying? Okay. Yeah, we need a lot more rails. Okay, the great railway is now complete. So now it's time for the moment of truth to test it actually works. Please? Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Can't believe it actually worked first time. All right, now it's time to actually get a bunch of villagers on here so that when it goes night, they all walk into the cells. Come over here, stand on the track. Let's go! He is on his way to give me lots of iron. And there we go, one villager has been delivered. See ya! And another one. All right, so it's actually night time now. So... Oh, please go into a bed. Yes! There we go, one more. Now we cover that up and we slab it up. And that is one of the villager pods complete. See ya. Get that way. Leave my villagers alone. No villagers for you. Ooh, chainmail boots. And that's number three. All right, it looks like they're making it safely despite there being loads of mobs. Then we can just break this. What? Why? Why did you do that? Wait, where's the other one? Why is he going back? Stop. Go that way. Oh no, it's daytime, so these guys are free. God damn it. I'm just gonna keep breeding villagers up and transporting them to the farm until we have all four of the pods complete. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yes, perfect. And subscribe. Somehow an iron golem has literally just spawned and is staring at that husk. Let's go. All right, now I'm pretty sure we should be able to get rid of these slabs now. All right, and then one of the final things for us to do is actually build the portals. By the way, I'll put the link to the iron farm in the description down below. Great. Okay, we're back after an awful time trying to get this to work, but now we have officially got this working. Basically what was happening is the zombie was getting murdered by the iron golems. But we've now got that fixed, and if we come over here, we have a nice little killing chamber set up where all the iron golems will die, and we collect all of their lovely iron. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch iron golems die whilst I have my lunch and walk my dog. <laughs> Okay, we are back and it's been a fair few hours. Oh my god. That is a lot of iron. Wow. We've probably got enough iron to build an entire house. Okay, that was pointless. Now let's turn this house into a bunch of hoppers for our storage system. Okay, perfect. We have nearly 2,000 hoppers here, which should be enough. And our axe is very destroyed. So... Wow. But now it's time to destroy the axe even more because the next part of the storage system we have to collect is the chests. Oh boy, here I go deforesting again. All right, so I now officially have way too many chests. And after raiding my redstone supply from this video, we have all the redstone-y stuff we're gonna need. Now, as I said before, I wanna build this storage system in a giant chest. And giant chests don't really grow on trees. So we're gonna have to build one. So to make a chest, you need blocks that actually look like a chest. And the only block that looks remotely like a chest is actually brown concrete. Wait. 
No, that looks nothing like a chest. Hmm. Strangely enough, it's actually yellow terracotta that looks most like a chest, which makes this a lot harder than concrete. Now we need to travel to the mesa biome, mine thousands of terracotta, murder 100 skeletons, and then realize I have thousands of bones from building a wither skeleton farm, then come back and bone meal the sunflower until it wants to die, and finally we have enough yellow concrete to build a double chest. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a big one. We also need some kind of blackish block, and I think we're gonna use black concrete this is going to be a nice little contrast so we can make black concrete powder and then we can duplicate this concrete powder with our sand duper put one piece in here to load the chunk switch them all on oh yeah okay that's definitely going to be enough all right and now we convert it Okay, perfect. Now, I want to build the chest down here, but this ugly stuff is kind of in the way. Perfect. Let's build this thing. And there we go. We have our giant chest. Now it's time to actually build the storage system. And to be honest, I'm kind of nervous for this because I've never really built an automatic storage system and this one's going to be massive. I think for now, we'll just have a little entrance at the side. All right, now I'm going to replace all of this grass with some snow. What the hell is that? How has that happened? What is that? Now we need to place down a hell of a lot of chests. So... Okay, as you can see, we've now got loads of chests set up and we've got this red section here for all the items that nobody really cares about and that I can't be bothered to sort separately. Now we're going to use all of these hoppers and all of this redstone to build the sorting system. This is going to be interesting. Wait, I built this stuff on the wrong level. Right, and I think that is the completed auto sorter for this side. But we do have one big problem, and that is lag. So to fix this problem, I think we're going to get rid of this top row of chests. And we've got the resources now, so we can always expand it later on. So... All right, the lag seems to have died down a bit. Now we need to get this machine on that side and that side as well. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're nearly done. Now we just need to add some item frames. All right, and now we need to decide which items go where. All right, so we've now got all these items in place, but we're actually going to have to move this red section to over there because the hoppers need to go around in a circle like that. So... All right, nice. And this is going to be for all the overflow items. These items here are going to be for the non-stackable ones. And according to Mumbo Jumbo, this thing should work. I have no idea. All right, now we need some filter blocks. And I'm actually going to use sand. And we're going to call them Mark after our dog. Okay, now I'm just going to put a stack of the blocks we want to sort. And then four filter blocks into each of the hoppers. And this should stop at 41. Yes, perfect. Now, if any stone blocks come along this line, like so, they should be sorted into this chest. Let's go. Woo. All right, so we're going to do this for all of these things. All right, nice. The filters are all added now. Now we need to create a water stream up to here. And then this thing's basically finished. All right, comparator here. Piston, observer, another one there that. Then some kelp. Put soil sand here. Nice. All right, and I'm pretty sure that should work. Okay, let's finish all this up and test it out. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. We finished the build and you now enter through this keyhole. Wow. Okay, will this actually work? We'll test it with beacons. Okay. I can hear them being shot up. It's a good sign. Where's the beacon chest? All right, it's here. They should add on to these 22 beacons. Why is sugar cane in there? Come on. Is it going to work? 
please let it work. Oh my god, yes! Let's go, it actually works. Woo! Wait, no, now I need to bring all of my stuff and put these in this chest. This is gonna take ages. All right, and whilst I'm doing this, you guys should watch this video next.